So then, Overwatch, a brand new FPS game from Blizzard and it's pretty damn good. Currently in closed beta, I've already posted my thoughts on the game on the channel and I've streamed it a few times as well. It's just fun and addictive and if there are two things that you want from any game, it's surely those two. Currently there are 18 heroes in the beta that you can play as and some of them are a lot easier than others. They've just announced three more bringing the total to 21 for when the final game is released. With a lot of these characters though it's a case of easy to play and hard to master so I thought I'd give you the lowdown on some of the characters and also some tips and tricks I've picked up along the way whilst I've been playing the game. In this video we're going to look at Tracer and I wanted to do this because I think Tracer scares a lot of people off initially. Who the hell is Tracer then? Well her name is Lena. 26 from London and she's single with two cats. Okay, the single with cats part, I just made that up, but the rest is actually true. She has two rapid fire pistols as her main attack and they both fire at the same time so you can't fire them independently. Of course, it's great that they fire fast but the downside to this is they're very short range and they've got to be reloaded often. If you keep holding down mouse 1, the entire magazine will be depleted in around 3 seconds and then you'll be reloading for about a second and a half before you can fire again. There's no worry about ammo count in Overwatch though, on any character ammo is always unlimited so you can fire and reload as much as you want. The downside to Tracer is that her weapons do smaller damage compared to some of the other damage heroes but her abilities make up for this and that's kind of the point. Tracer has a blink ability bound to shift. This enables her to zip through space in any direction and reappear several yards away. She has a maximum of three blinks available at any time and they recharge every second or so. So if you use one of the blinks, it's gonna recharge pretty quickly. Using these blinks properly and to your advantage is what makes blink dangerous and also very useful at the same time. And without this ability she's actually very weak because she's only got 150 health points, the lowest of all the heroes in the game in fact. Now her second ability is even stronger than the first and it actually takes her back in time. Hit E at any point and Tracer will go back in time to the same place that she was around 3 seconds ago. Not only that, but she'll regain the health and ammo that she had at that point. So imagine you're taking on an enemy and you do half of the damage to them but they almost kill you. You hit E, you'll then zip backwards 3 seconds and regain all that health you lost and can go back and take on the enemy you just damaged so you go and finish them off. Of course you can use it for other reasons as well. Use it to get out of situations where you know that you're outmatched or to use your ultimate ability which I'll talk about in a second. Ultimates are powerful abilities that charge up over the course of a game by just playing and completing objectives and Tracers is a pulse bomb. It's a very large bomb that will stick to any surface or even a player if you're smart or lucky enough. It's going to explode a few seconds after deployment killing anyone close to it and this is where Tracer becomes really really dangerous and you combine it with your special abilities to great effect. For example, blink in towards an enemy or group of enemies so you're really close. The chances of them hitting you are very very slim because you're moving and darting around so fast. Use your ultimate ability when you're close to the group of players and stick the bomb to an enemy player or on the ground. Then you can either blink out of there if you've got them recharged or what I like to do is hit E and use my recall and go back in time which will leave the bomb in place and detonate killing anyone who's near it and you're safe three seconds away around a corner. It's a great tactic to combine everything at your disposal to take out a group of enemies. Tracer is a tricky hero because her special abilities are really powerful and playing against her can be really annoying but also she's extremely weak in health so many players that are close range can easily kill her if she's unable to blink away so don't overcommit when you're playing and make sure that you've always got a get out of jail card. Combine that with her weak pistols and you've really got to play smart and fast to get the best out of her. However, if you practice and get good at running rings around your opponent and balance that with the ultimate, the recall and the blink, you can really do a lot of damage. Overall, it's possible her recall ability could use a small nerf because I think it recharges too often, but people will argue that's fair because of her low health and damage. We'll see if that changes as the beta goes on. 
So that's all for Tracer guys. If you've got access to the beta, try her out. She's really, really fun. And I'm going to be doing guides for all of the characters in Overwatch because I'm really enjoying it at the moment. I think it's a very good game. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.